DQ BOM! Hi everybody. Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. If you're new. Welcome to the Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. If you're young or old. It doesn't matter who you are. The DQ welcomes you. Yes. And today only, DQ welcomes you to a free vanilla cone. Yep. It's National Ice Cream Cone Day, right? Right. Yeah. March 21st. You. We're taping here because I'm hoping he'll come back. There is a giant ice cream cone that's been dancing around on the corner trying to attract attention so people will come in and get their free ice cream cones. And it has been flipping adorable. Am I lying? No, you saw him twirling around and stuff, didn't you, Ben? Yeah, he used to be right there. He was so cute. Even Ben said he was cute. And then his wife and kid came along. He went with them and no one, no one knows where he went. So then this woman comes walking across the parking lot with a little girl. She looked between two and three. Real little girl. And she takes her over to the ice cream cone. And they're standing you know, four or five feet away. And the ice cream cone suit <laughs> only has a little opening for your feet. Mm -hmm. So you have to go do, 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 to walk and it makes him kind of rock back and forth. So he starts going to the little girl going do, 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 do. And, and she's like, ah! she goes, ah! <laughs> she starts crying. And her oh. mom goes, that's your daddy. And she looks up at it and she goes, take that off. <laughs> it was so funny. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And then the mom took a picture of him and her together. And now he's disappeared. And I wish he'd come back and dance for us some more. Oh. Because it was cute. <laughs> but anyway. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey, person. We had a weekend, didn't we? Yep. Yes, we did. Let me see what all happened. Well, we went to Wits yesterday. The boys weren't supposed to go. It was supposed to be me and Bonnie and John. But Bonnie lost her keys and had to stay home because she had no way of locking up her house. And uh, John said, well, come on and bring the boys instead so they can go into the store for me. So we did that and we had plenty to eat, didn't we? Yep. yep. We tried their um, conies at Wits. I think Bonnie's really gonna love them. Chris was not that much of a fan, and they accidentally put mustard on him, so Ben wouldn't try him, would you, Ben? I won't touch it if it's got mouse tart in it. That was pretty good, though. I ate a couple of bites off of his, and then John finished it, but, oh, I like their coney sauce. <laughs> and Ben got his old standby didn't you Ben yep because who wouldn't want to get their old standby so cookies and cream for Ben but Chris man he had delicious you want to tell it Chris it was a Reese's puff explosion I think it was called uh-huh it had Reese's puffs syrup and vanilla custard it was delicious he gave me a bite of it to try oh my goodness hmm <laughs> I had the Twisted Coffee, what is it called, Whittier or something? Yeah, whatever. They're Blizzard Club. Witzer. Witzer, thank you. It's coffee ice cream with um, Bailey's flavored syrup in a swirl in it. It's real good. Don't eat too much of them, it's Bailey's. We're going to weigh like 600 pounds a piece because we did that yesterday and then here we are today and I had the royal fudge brownie blizzard and so did Chris I had my standby and both of them <laughs> had an ice cream cone yep and I had fries and Ben had cookies and cream and guess how much all that cost how much not counting the two ice cream cones, it was 17 something. When we got up to the window, and I was having a fit, 
because I didn't mean to spend mm -hmm. that much. But when we got up to the window, she scanned the app for the free french fries and it took everything off. And so our whole, our whole order was free, right? <laughs> I'm going to make fun of mom for a brief moment. Our whole order was free. Yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> so... I'm convinced it was a pay it forward deal that she was just too proud to admit was a pay it forward deal behind the window. I don't know why anybody would care to admit that, but anyway, it was pretty nice. Yeah. So what'd we do on Saturday? I don't think we did very much. That I remember. Friday we did a lot though. What'd we do Friday? That was the 18th, so we splurred. Oh, we went grocery shopping, yeah. Yep. We got, we plenty. got a bunch of stuff, too. We got plenty more of the good stuff. I uh, made dinner last night. How did you like it, Chris? That was good, but I got too much mac and cheese, so I ate a tiny bit of my... Uh, Say it, Ben. Meatloaf. 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 Double beat loaf. I hate meatloaf. Bonus points if you know the movie. That yep. counts as my quote for the day. Does it really? Yeah. Well, I don't think Ice Cream Dude's coming back, do you? No. Yep, that was like we the family of the person behind Ice Cream Dude coming to pick him up. I'm bummed. Oh, I well. really wanted him on our video. I'm oh. kind of sad. Oh, well, he probably might have only wanted to do it on video if we were here a little earlier. Oh, well. But alas. You just have to trust us. It was adorable. He was so cute in that costume without being able to take steps and <sighs> twirling around. And boing, boing, boing. His little short arms. It was adorable. Let's not forget boing, boing. Where he jumped, yeah. Uh huh. Ice cream boing boing. Okay, everybody. Anyone else other than me who's already said got a quote of day? I don't think we're that far yet. Yeah, we're not. Let's see. So anyway, I made meatloaf last night and then struggled with the onset of a migraine from about 1 a.m. to about 7 a.m. But then I finally got to sleep and when I woke up, I didn't have it. So I was grateful. But that was not pleasant, and I'm very tired today. So mom's warbling around the DQ to see if she can catch out Ice Cream Dude, huh? Wow, look at the line. Yeah. Ice Cream Dude's job was a success. I wouldn't say he looked delicious, but he was definitely entertaining. I don't like these here. Oh, rough road. Yeah. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he's inside. I don't know. I can't keep up with anthropomorphic ice creams. Yep. Mm. There's the nursery. Yep. They always have such beautiful plants there. Boy, they charge a fortune for their Christmas trees. Hey, Mom, I, did you forget I wanted to go there to see what was on their shelving? Yeah, I told you I wasn't going. Yep. Nobody listens to me, I swear. Anyway, we're in Delaware's version of rush hour traffic. <coughs> it's actually you know not too bad today. I've seen it backed up. <laughs> for like a mile from here. Yeah. So, okay. Where do you want to go this week, Chris? Hopefully to Rebel Toys Tuesday or Wednesday to see how their toy show trip went. They were going to the toy show I used to go to for two years straight. They're going to do some selling and hopefully buy more inventory for their store. Chris wants to see what they made it back with. Yep. Oh, I remember what we did Saturday. What? Took care of Bonnie's laundry. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. The kids are looking forward to it. Well, Ben, I should say. Because she said she was going to pay him uh, 20 $20. Bucks. And Ben's like, money, money, money. <laughs> money! Yeah, he was. And <laughs> he shook the phone when did that last money. Uh, but I hope she knows we would do it for her for nothing. <sighs> yeah. But it's still really nice of her to offer. Yeah. I'm sure she knows because I made it quite clear. It says that's a very, very, very intense level of incentive right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, Ben made some money today, didn't you, Ben? And all it took was smashing up three bags full of cans. Well, what he happened? Got Ten bucks, basically. Ten dollars and twenty cents, wasn't it? Yep. Is recycling today. Yep. So if you like, so if you were on the fence about recycling, grab a trash bag, smash up some of your old cans, and put them in there. You might be sitting on a veritable gold mine. And it really is good for the planet. Yeah. And okay for you. Robocop. <laughs> or no, not Robocop. Judge Dredd. That was a funny movie. It was, <laughs> right. actually, it was actually a pretty good movie. Yep. In fact, it didn't stay true to the form at all. That's why I said it was very funny. Not as in comedy funny, but funny as in they loosely based it off of it. And there are some parts the creator was ticked off about. Yeah? Yep. Did not know that. Yep. Ah, uh, today you're being treated to the back way home, huh? Yeah. Yep. This is the way you go when you want to go over home, and your home is out this way, and you don't mind looking at the back end of the city. Well, with all the traffic right now, it makes more sense to get out of town quicker. This way also takes you to our local T-Mobile store. Yes, that's true. I don't know which part ticked off the radar the most. Mom, I have an idea to drag out your video a little more. What? Show them the T-Mobile store where it all began. No, thank you. you okay, Chris, go ahead and let us know. The part of the Judge Dredd movie, the original one from the 90s, I believe, or was it the 80s? One or two. Yeah. The part ticked off the creator the most was the part where Judge Strad was still a judge and he went helmetless for a scene. That ticked off the creator so much, he never made, let him make a sequel for it like they wanted to. It didn't need a sequel. Yeah. It was good where it stopped. Yeah, they wanted to make a sequel, but he was not, not having it because Judge Dredd cared. Dread as a character never takes his helmet off when he's in uniform. He wouldn't have, no. Yeah. It'd been too dangerous. He's right, that's not true to the character. And the character, in my humble opinion, was a bit of a butthead and needed brought down a peg or two. Yep. I am the law. My Aunt Fanny. Yeah. But anyway, anyway. There is a replica I'd like from Etsy from the series, by the way. What? The, the Lawgiver gun. The Lawgiver, yeah. That would be awesome to own in replica form. Oh, speaking of, speaking of shit that doesn't stay true to its source material. If any of you have been following up on video game to TV adaptations... You might have heard a little bit of something about a Halo TV series. Not my cup of tea, but we're on the same topic anyway. Yep, apparently they're now focusing on a different character who was never seen in the Halo games and basically demoted the Master Chief to her guardian. I get that the people are saying that they wanted to try something new with Halo, but I can see a bunch of... Halo game fans preparing some extreme amounts of kindling. Three guesses for what? Rage of all, I know. Yeah. 
When it comes to certain game series that people are very passionate about, you don't screw with it. Watch your language, please. Yeah. Yeah, at least I didn't say what I was originally intending to. I said the diet version. Behave. Yeah. And you're a little loud. So anyway, I don't know what plans we might have for this week. Gonna get gas tomorrow. Gotta go see my neurologist. Pick up prescriptions, blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old, right? Right. I smell a sheets trip. And Chris really wants to go to Rebel <laughs> Toys. Yep. So I don't know. We'll work something out. Excuse me. You're excused? We got plenty of voodoo on the table. Okay. So, Yes, Ben already did his quote for the day. Would you like to do yours, Chris? Yes, I'm ready now. Ben can pan the camera over here. <coughs> Look into this device and we'll administer the eye test. That's my quote. You can pan out now. You notice we didn't even tell you to guess which one that was. Because yeah. I bet you all know, Chris really wishes he had one of those. The real one, yeah. Uh, It'll be useful for real life, too. Hey, you'd be frying my brain every day, probably. No, thank you. <laughs> Wait. No, not your brain. <laughs> Are those hip? Are those capable of inflicting some sort of hypnosis or whatever? No, they're memory wipers, basically. Ah. So I did like it when they wiped the woman's memory, and he's trying to give her a good memory, you know. And you were talking about it the other day about get a decorator in here and go buy some new dresses, and it was Edgar's wife, right? Right. Uh huh. Right. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. So, okay. I guess we're done with our video for today. Right, boys? Right. Yep. So, thank you for joining us. You can put it down. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you'll come back and see us on Wednesday, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? No. Okay, then take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.